today on 15 on 15. We have details on the huge fire that erupted in downtown Orangistad. Plus, a new study finds men are attracted to smart and confident women. Also, beach tennis was back on Eagle Beach this weekend. Thank you for joining us. I'm Yanto Liu. On Monday, a fire erupted in downtown Orangistad that took firefighters more than four hours to control. Monday morning around 9.30 a.m., the fire department received a call regarding a fire erupting in downtown Orangistad. An estimated 20 firefighters were on the scene to control the situation. The firefighters stayed until about 2.30 p.m. to assess the situation. Three fire trucks were sent to the scene. The major part of the fire was on the second floor, which made it even more difficult for the firefighters to combat. Since the roof caved in, the cause of the fire has yet to be determined. The fire department did not use any of the water from the fire hydrants downtown since the firefighters were fully equipped to battle the fire. The location of the fire was near the Sagar clothing store. In other local news, anyone needing services from Senso, the civil registry now has more options. The lines and wait time at the civil registry is not always ideal. The public center has launched a website to better serve the general community. A number of things can be done on the website, from scheduling appointments to requesting for certain documents to registering and much more. You can check out the website at www.senso.aw. Moving on, the Autism Foundation teamed up with Trash by Ronchi with the support of the Minister of Social Affairs to generate awareness and funds for the foundation. Representatives from the Autism Foundation were present at the fashionable event. The pieces by local designer Ronchi de Cuba were showcased on the runway. From clothing for young girls to pieces for plus-sized models and outfits for men, they were all there. It was a great event with a meaningful message in which Minister Paul Cruz was in attendance for. Over the weekend, Expo Beauty took over the Renaissance Convention Center. 15 on 15's cosmetic sponsor L'Oreal represented in a big way. On Friday night, the red carpet opening event took place at the Renaissance Convention Center for Beauty Expo. L'Oreal's space was stocked fully with their signature products. From hair to cosmetics, anything to do with beauty, L'Oreal was there for you. More importantly, the knowledgeable beauty team of L'Oreal was present to provide one-on-one -on -one consultation. Furthermore, they utilized technology to allow customers to discover more about their skin. A machine was used to help during the consultation process regarding the flaws of each individual and which L'Oreal products would aid the imperfections. L'Oreal secured a large area and staged it extremely well. They had a tremendous turnout. When customers bought various products, they were eligible for a makeover by the experts of L'Oreal. During the makeovers, the beauty team provided the ladies with all sorts of tips. The G4 Beach Tennis Tournament this month was back on at Eagle Beach this weekend. Two highly ranked professional men players from Venezuela participated. It wasn't easy for them to get here due to certain travel restrictions in Venezuela, but say it is well worth the hassle to participate in the tremendous sporting event. Some of the players on the island take for granted what Beach Tennis Aruba offers for their athletes. Not everyone is lucky enough to be just a quick car ride away from one of the best monthly Beach Tennis International ranking events. Right now in Venezuela it's very difficult to fly, to, to fly the tickets but uh, we got it and then we uh, we decided to play this tournament for the beach the vacation and all that and it's so close that's the that, uh, important thing we will hear more from jorge and his brother on the sport of beach tennis coming up later on in the show but first when we come back we will reveal what men find attractive in a woman and you may be surprised at this. Also, science proves that certain people attract more mosquitoes than others. And we'll show you a little laundry machine powered by foot that can clean clothes in just five minutes. All those topics and much more coming up, so don't go anywhere. When we return, check out this mini laundry machine powered by foot.
Welcome back from the break. You are watching 15 on 15. My, my, how times have changed. A recent survey found that men find being intelligent is one of the more important attractive qualities in a woman. When you think about the type of women men typically find attractive, what do you picture? Well, alter that image because apparently 87% of single men would date someone who's more intellectual and more educated than they are. The same number of guys would have no problem dating a woman who makes more money than they do. Almost half of the single men at 44% said they actively seek out career-driven women, while 86% said they want to date someone who is confident and self-assured. Here's something else interesting regarding the survey that you should know about. A whopping 90% of the men surveyed said they would be okay with a woman asking them out. In other lifestyle news, when you are sitting with friends outdoors, have you noticed that certain individuals attract more mosquito bites than others? Well, there is a reason for this. Mosquitoes are lured by body odor genes. The likelihood of being bitten by mosquitoes could be down to genes that control our body odor. This is what a preliminary study has determined. Researchers tested pairs of identical and non-identical twins to see how attractive they were to mosquitoes. Identical twins were more likely to have similar levels of attractiveness, suggesting shared genetic factors were at play here. The intriguing results must now be assessed in larger trials. Researchers have long tried to understand what drives mosquitoes to bite certain people more than others. Recent work shows the insects may be lured to their victims by body odor, and anecdotal reports suggest some relatives are just as likely to be bitten as each other. I'll be the first to admit doing the laundry is not my favorite pastime. The truth is, not every house has room for a washer and dryer, especially if you are a resident of a big city, meaning even if you do like doing laundry, you may not be able to. So instead, many people depend on their nearest laundromat to do their clothes for them. Here is a fantastic invention that can solve this problem. There is now an even better fix called Drumi. It is a foot-powered miniature washing machine. According to the Huffington Post, the Drumi has the ability to clean three days worth of undergarments in just five minutes. Each load uses about two gallons of water and a minimal amount of soap to get the job done. It uses about 80% less water than a traditional washing machine does. The instructions on how to use the Drumi seem self-explanatory. It is simple, efficient, and affordable. The cost is $170 for this machine. Now I have to say that is pretty cool. Let's take a really quick break. Here's what's coming up next. The professional men game in beach tennis is intense. More on this coming up. Beach Tennis Aruba and Fanatic players took over Eagle Beach this past weekend. Due to a new beach policy and regulations, the monthly tournament had been organized at Tropicana Beach Tennis Club. But for the first time in months, it was back on Eagle Beach and it was a tremendous turnout. More men play beach tennis than women on the island. Two brothers from Venezuela who are highly ranked on the professional level has been playing in every G4 Aruba has organized this year. Their skill set is on a higher level compared to the male players on the island. They see the G4 as a training. And actually this, this uh, tournament is not like big important because right now we are not in a good level. So we are like top 20 in the world. So this is not making like a big uh, difference in our ranking. But it's good uh, like to be training uh, because like it's, uh, in the, like the rest of the people, the rest of the top players, they are playing tournaments around the world. So we are really close to Venezuela, so it's really nice that like the beach and everything, the people is amazing. So it's really nice to come here, play some games, uh, meet some friends and, and like and just come and enjoy. Pedro is currently training children, women and men at the Tropicana Beach Tennis Club on a daily basis. He says players from all over the world should watch out because the players from Aruba are progressing extremely quick. Yes, yes, right now it's growing like really, really like quick. And the thing is like my friend Maria Boots like have the, the school over there, the Caribbean Beach Tennis School is he's, he's, uh, doing an amazing job over there. And yes, we have like a lot of levels right now. We have like almost 200 people. Uh, we have kids, we have uh, teenagers and we have adults. And right now, like I'm really impressed. I've been here for maybe like one month 
and the the people right now is like improving the, her game like really really fast so it's, it's, it's beautiful to come here and like to help a little bit in the island. The pros have a few words of advice to the male players on the island. Remember that practice makes perfect. Yes, I think that they need to train more, more class. Because if they not train, they are not get, uh, get up. But they're playing always in the same, but to get up, need to train. For me, that's my personal opinion. There is a drastic difference between the men's game versus the women's. The men's are faster, more intense and stronger. Meanwhile, the women have more rallies and more strategic placing is involved. Yeah, I'm thinking because the, the game of the men's is more stronger, more fast. And, and the, 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 the game of the girls is slow, more lobs. But more rally. Yeah, more rally. The, the points are more long. Pedro says tournaments like these are fantastic for everyone. It gives the players an opportunity to practice and play. Right now, this is like good for us because we're training for the world champion. So we take like a couple of tournaments before to train. So we make like the change here because it's different, like train and, and be in a tournament. Doesn't matter how big is the tournament, but it's really nice because you, you put in, in like in the, in the game, the thing that you train. So right now, that's why we're playing here. Like we, we train for that uh, tournament. It's gonna be in Moscow in June, and then we play in Cherbia in Italy. So yes, that's not uh, next tournament over there. I played in the tournament all weekend and I need to give a great big thank you to the Juggling Fish Swimwear Shop located at Playa Linda as well as TH Palm for believing in the sport and supporting the local athletes. They provided my beach tennis wear all weekend. I cannot thank them enough, so be sure to check them out. That is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back here tomorrow night with another great lineup of topics. We'll see you then.